Now the next feature I'm going to show you in Ableton Live 9 beta version here is one of the most requested features. People have been wanting this in Ableton Live for many years now and we finally have it. This is session clip automation. This allows you to add automation to your session clips rather than having to do all your automation in the arrange window. Now you'll see to accommodate this new feature there has been some changes to the transport bar up here. The back to arrangement button has been replaced by this button here which is basically your session automation arming button. As long as that is activated then you will be able to add automation to your clips. This button here I will explain later enables you to reactivate any automation that may have become overridden and this button here is the record button for your session view only. This new button here just prepares a track and a scene ready for recording so some useful new buttons there. And to demonstrate this new session view automation feature I'm going to play this glitchy chord sound I have here. And I'm going to do some rather obvious panning automation. So I'll make sure I've got my session view automation button armed. And I'm going to make sure that the actual track is ready for record. And I'm going to press the automation record button here. And now as I alter the panning parameter, you'll see finally we have session clip automation in the session window. So there you have it, there is your session automation, there's the panning curves and of course that is transferable over once you drag it into your arrange window. There is the automation written there so that's easily transferable back and forth between windows. Now what I want to show you next is exactly how the re-enable automation button works. You'll see whilst I'm out of the record mode and if I want to play around with the settings any parameter that I've got automation on will become disabled as I change this setting here. Now to re-enable re this information you just click on the re-enable automation. It will also do the same if I do that again and disable it, it will also do the same if I stop the clip and reactivate it. So there you have it, there is the much requested session view automation feature in Ableton Live 9.